माई स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इन द कंपाइलर डिजाइन वॉज फेसेस ऑफ कंपाइलर सो इन दिस फेसेस ऑफ कंपाइलर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर एग्जैक्टली द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द कंपाइलर सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द लैंग्वेज प्रोसेसिंग सिस्टम सो वट एवर द प्रोग्राम यू आर टेकन हाउ दैट प्रोग्राम इज इंटरनली कन्वर्ट मीन इंटरनल वर्ड ऑपरेशन इट इज गोइंग टू बी डन means uh, whatever the high level language program you are returning that program is converted into uh, com assembly uh, low level language that is assembly language and that to machine code okay now let's take only the compiler part and what are the phases that are present in the compiler actually the compiler operates in a phases the compilers having different phases so what exactly a phase is a phase is a logical let me write the phase okay what do you call the phase a phase is a logically interrelated so whatever the phase you are taking that phase is logically interrelated operations that takes source program that takes a source program and one representation one representation and produce output in another representation so that is a phase so phase is going to take a uh, input and gives output another so source program in one representation and produce the output in another representation that represents a phase so in the compilers also in in the compiler there are different phase or existence each phase input will gives output to another phase okay so whenever whatever the in, uh, input it is taking that input is going to be converted and gives output in another format that is a phase okay so let me uh, clearly show you how what are the phases that are different phases that are exist in the compiler actually the uh, there are the complete compiler is divided into two major phases there are two major phases again these major phases will be divided into sub phases so there are two major phases of compilation so what are those two major phases of compilation one is analysis phase analysis phase and another is synthesis phase so the total compilation process is divided into two major phases one is analysis phase and another is a synthesis phase so what analysis phase consists of analysis phase uh, starting it is machine independent it doesn't uh, know what type of machine you are using but analysis phase is machine independent but language dependent what language you are using okay so analysis phase is machine independent and language dependent next phase is a synthesis phase the synthesis phase is machine dependent machine dependent and language independent so from this what you understand analysis phase only concentrated on language whereas a synthesis phase is concentrating on the machine okay machine level language so it is concentrating on the languages that is a high level language assembly language and synthesis phase is concentrating on the machine level language now let's see what are the different phases that are present in the uh, compiler okay so let's take these are the different phases this is structure of the compiler different phases are present first the source program whatever the program that you are written in high level language that is source program that so source program enter into the compilation phase so what the compiler will do the compiler will convert the high level language into target program what is the target program of the compiler that is the low level language okay so and what are the different phases that are present in between the high level and the in the conversion conversion process so these are all the different phases lexical analyzer syntax analyzer semantic analyzer intermediate code generator code optimizer and code generator 
total six phases are there. Okay, total six phases. Lexical, syntax, semantics, intermediate code, code optimizer and code generator. So here you are having all these phases are managed by with the help of symbol table manager. So it's having all the symbol related information will be stored in this symbol table manager. And if any error is occurred in between these phases, that error handles is going to handle that error. Okay. So this is the phases of compiler or the structure of the compiler. Source program, target program, lexical analyzer, syntax analyzer, semantics, intermediate code and the code optimizer, code generator, symbol table manager, error handler. Now let's discuss one by one, phase one, phase two, phase three, five, six and like that. Okay. So let me explain each phase clearly. So what is a phase uh, one? The phase one you call it as a lexical analyzer. So, whatever the source code that that source code is enter into the phase one. That is lexical analysis. Okay. So, what this lexical analysis will do? The lexical analysis reads a stream of characters. So, it first reads the reads the stream of characters making up the source program and group the characters into meaningful sequence called lexeme okay let me write lexical analysis reads a uh, stream of characters making up making up the source program and group the characters whatever the stream of characters it is reading so that it group the characters into meaningful sequence meaningful sequences called lexeme okay so that uh, whatever the group of characters that is reading that or uh, call it as a lexeme so here the lexical analyzer Analyzer represents these lexemes in the form of tokens. Okay. Lexical analyzer represents these lexemes in the form of tokens. In the form of tokens. So, what do you understand from this? Whatever the high level language that for the in the first phase, it reads the characters, sequence of characters and group them and that lexemes you call it as a tokens. Okay, let me show, uh, show you simple example. The lexical analyzer in the form of token name, token name and attribute values. Okay, so let me take one simple example of lexical analyzer, how the program is converted into tokens. Let's take the example. Uh, let's take new value is equal to uh, old value plus 12. So this is a simple example. Now, this statement, whatever the statement, is statement consisting of group of characters. This statement is converted into tokens in lexical analysis. So, what are the tokens that are present? How the tokens are represented? So, new val is identifier. New val is identifier. And equal to is one token that you call it as assignment operator. Assignment operator. Next token is old value. Old value is another identifier. And plus, plus is add operator. Add operator. And 12, 12 is number. So, the statement, whatever the statement that we are represented. So, this lexical analyzer is converted that statement into tokens. So, each one is represented as a token. So, here the lexical analyzer truncates the white spaces and also removes the errors. 
So this is a phase one. Okay. Let's continue in the second video. In, the, in that video, I'll explain the different phases that are present in the compilation. Thank you.